beautiful welcome back to my channel my name is Tracy and we're vlogging again this week um I started this vlog yesterday I'm gonna put a few pieces up you'll see a few pieces up before this clip of Monday I did a big talking portion on Mondays like I typically do but I'm gonna scrap that I'm gonna scrap all of that um yesterday Monday the womb the wounds from a quote-unquote breakup <laughs> not really but um my heart is broken and it's hurting and I'm upset but I went live here on YouTube yesterday and I talked about it and there was about seven or eight women in the chat and we were all discussing it and one of my internet friends was actually um, ending a marriage. So I'm like, it is it is not that serious. So let me put things back in perspective. Even though, yes, ending any relationship, even ending a job, um, ending any relationship that no longer serves you is always difficult. Doesn't matter kind of what capacity is in. But I'd rather, instead of telling you guys all about the heartbreak on that video, and girl, guys, I know some guys watch. I was just crying. I'm going to scrap that talking portion of yesterday. And we're going to focus the rest of this vlog on the healing portion the after the fact of what I'm doing this week to get my self back together to feel better um, the one thing I'm going to do is I'm already starting to work this morning it is exactly 8 o'clock straight up I was trying to get to work by 7 but I thought since I felt so bad yesterday and Lord I looked so bad yesterday <laughs> that today I would get up, put a little makeup on. I'm going to pop some earrings on here in a minute. I'm just wearing a t-shirt and some shorts. I'm wearing what I would clean up in around the house to work in. But I did put a little makeup on, put a little bit more effort, put some oil on my hair. I've made my bed already. Um, got my blueberry smoothie going here. Um, <clears throat> and those are the things that just really do make me feel better. Like routine things normal things consistent things i took a, gr a really good shower this morning i put a little eucalyptus in my shower this morning uh essential oil drops and it woke a sister up <laughs> it woke me up um i have my water sitting here i finished the water i had from last night so i've had water and i'm about to have the smoothie this morning i like to have a have a smoothie every morning but i didn't have one yesterday i didn't have one all weekend um, I totally just was thrown off kilter, but it is not, even though I need to honor the ending of the relationship and, um, I still don't have to give it all of my energy, positive and negative. So, I, like I, I talked about it more in my life, the hurt part and I'll try to pop it in this video somewhere or leave that in the description box below. But I just don't want to give it any more energy as far as talking about it. I just want to go ahead and move and heal because it's something that had to be done. And I've known for over a year that it had to be done. And so I've done it. I've done the hardest part of it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to scrap <laughs> all of the talking portion from Monday. So I just wanted to come over here today or Tuesday. I'm going to put the few clips of Monday in where I'm not talking crazy and not crying. Um, but I just want to come in here and say good morning. But um, I need to get to work this morning. I will catch up with you guys for lunch. I think I'm going to make some chickpea tuna for lunch. I'm not going to go live on Insta on YouTube today because we have a Zoom meeting at 11:45 and we're going to eat lunch together on Zoom as a company. So, I'm going to go ahead and do all that, but I really um needed to vlog this week. I debated back and forth Sunday would I start the vlog or not because I was just 
such an emotional wreck but i'm so glad i did and i'm so glad i stuck to those routines of going live on youtube and getting up this morning and doing those things i need to do now i just need to spend some time tonight doing my nails which i'll do but um yeah just let's just let's just get to work let's just get to Chickpea work tuna on a bed of greens with some yellow tomato a little bit of italian dressing i got two of little cuties and we're about to head into this zoom meeting and i will catch up with you after the meeting o'clock that's a wrap on work for today things are getting a little messy around the house i was filming and planning and do some stuff over there and the kitchen is getting a little bit messy so i am not going to clean at this very moment <laughs> i am going to take some time and do some restorative yoga um i'm using my big work computer because the screen is so big i'm gonna do this here but i'm going to do it in my bedroom just because the screen is so big i just found a 30 minute restorative video on youtube that looks pretty good so i'm just gonna take some time before i start cleaning the house and make my dinner to do some yoga and then after I do my yoga I will do all the other things saw me i was doing yoga yoga always gives me exactly what i need i had a plan that i was going to roast oh uh, some brussels sprouts and do a sweet potato last night um but once i finished yoga and found a relaxation i was like that's not gonna happen i'm gonna eat some more chickpea tuna over some a bed of greens just like I had for lunch, so I didn't show it to you again. As you can see, I didn't get any cleaning done because I sat here, I had some coffee, I had that salad, and I fell asleep right here on this couch in the six o'clock hour. I probably woke up in the eight o'clock hour, got in the bed, and did not wake up again until five o'clock this morning. I hadn't slept since wednesday night of last week so a full week of not sleeping through the night yoga was the thing it gave me exactly what i need to feel so much better and i slept all night and this morning when i woke up my little situation wasn't the first thing on my mind for the first time in days how i what videos i was going to film and when i was going to go back to a regular schedule on this youtube channel was the first thing that was on my mind so I feel like today was the first time I've had clarity in a full solid week and I'm so grateful for sticking to those routines and not just those routines because it's been a really long time since I've done yoga. Uh, it's probably been a good three to four weeks. Um, and yesterday was the first time I was able to do yoga on the ground because sometimes I'll do standing yoga. It's interesting. 
I don't even consider standing yoga yoga, even though it is. I'm a person that needs to be in child's pose. I need a good cat and cow. I need a good plank and a down-facing dog. So I feel like if I can't do those, I'm not truly doing yoga. Um, I did have a little bit of pain um, through the night because of doing yoga. But I remember when I woke up um, about eight something that I was in a little bit of pain. But I was like, I'm just going to, my heat pad went out. My second light bulb in my bedroom went out. So I got up this morning and ordered <laughs> two light bulbs at Target. So I'm going to go pick those up today whenever they send me the email and tell me they're ready. I just, I'm just going to do the Target pickup. So I just thought, I'm going to be okay. I'm just going to go to sleep and this pain will be fine. And so <clears throat> when I woke up, it was fine. So I'm not going to do yoga today because I don't want to aggravate it. But um, I think I'm going to try to go for a little walk later on today. But this morning, it's still, it's probably about 625 now, 630 or something like that right now. Because I have a little bit of clarity, I'm going to go ahead and finish planning out my week because I couldn't finish it Monday because I couldn't think straight. And I'm going to go ahead and finish planning out my week. I just wrote out how I want my videos to go live on um, next week and what videos I want to film next week as well. And um, so I'm just going to finish planning out this week because we will have another Zoom meeting on Thursday. Um, and I need to rock out a few things on um, for work. And there's um, I want to clean the living room today. I've already started doing a little bit of laundry. So I'm going to just kind of get all of that down on paper so I'll know where I am for the rest of the week. And that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I want to be start I want to start work by seven. So I still need to make my smoothie for the morning. Like I said, sticking with the routine. And then I'm going to start work. So I will catch up with you guys probably around lunchtime. Yeah, I think. We're going to have some more chickpea tuna because we have a little bit left. And we're just going to finish that off today. But I guess I'll catch up with you at lunchtime. the grass outside is so noisy and I'm doing some laundry so there's a lot happening here
good morning happy friday yesterday was a doozy i worked all day yesterday i found a sweet spot um in my day yesterday because i knew i would be so busy um i actually set my timer to work for an hour and then i after the timer would go off in an hour i would get up and I would set my timer again for 15 minutes and then I would do a task around the house whether it was getting something to eat or just stretching or um, doing folding some laundry or vacuuming something I would do something for about 15 minutes and then after the 15 minutes was up I would come and I would work for an hour again and I did that all day from 7 to 4 and it really was a good work day um, because I had so much to do and it made it flow a lot better. Anyway, today, um, I have a few things I need to do. I'm about to send, um, first I need to check and see how much more time I need for the day because I don't want to work all day if I don't have to. I am getting started a little bit later than I wanted to, um, at 725. So I'm just going to say 7.30. And um, I'm going to do that. And then I need to email my director about a couple of different things to get that going on. And we also have a Zoom meeting today. I don't know what time it is. But anyway, I want to do all of that this morning. Um, today's smoothie is what we need to use up before it go bad. <laughs> so it has five clementines, one frozen banana, some a handful of 50 50 blend uh greens some protein powder coconut water in it um yeah that's all this in here and it's pretty tasty so i'm gonna have this this morning and when i get up for my 15 minute break today i am going to wash as many makeup brushes as i can get washed in 15 minutes probably get all of my face brushes done and I'll do that every time I take a break today until I get all of my makeup brushes washed because I actually want to film a makeup video this weekend. So this weekend has really been about me getting to what works, getting to a routine or I don't know, just doing those things that I know that really, really work for me. I've eaten a lot of plant-based meals this week, which really work for me. I've done some yoga, gotten outside, um, having productive work days by working diligently but also resting at the same time or taking a break when I needed to. I've had a great conversation with a couple of girlfriends this week. Um, it's just been, and I've drank a lot of water and I've taken my vitamins every single day. And those just are the things that really do serve me. I am at my best when I do those things and I kind of noticed it yesterday when I had such a long, heavy work day that I was able to really buckle down and get those things done. So even though this week started out rough and rocky, these are the things that I have not been doing consistently for a while now. And it's just time to really get myself on a couple of different routines. I've taken a lot of notes this week of the things that really work for me and what I really want to do and things I want to implement them. And I'm going to do them slowly over the course of time so that I can get them to be a part of my daily routine. So anyway, um, that's all I wanted to share with you this morning. I'll catch up back up with you when I get ready to do my makeup brushes. So I will see you later. So I've decided for my first 15 minute break that I would go to the mailbox. I don't know all the rules of getting mail out of the box. My coworker said something about sitting it outside for three days. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna go get the mail. This is what was in the mail. <laughs> My order from Gold Mine and Coco. This is the only thing that was in the mail. <laughs> so I threw the outer package away outside and washed my hands really good. And this makes me so freaking happy. Oh, look at that one. She's gorgeous. And uh, this one. 
I got another one. I've had her. I think I probably have her like two or three of them. But I got another one because, hmm, she is fire. And then this freebie. What? That is bad. Both of them. I love the Peyton freebie too. And I got a couple of trunk pieces and some one page kits. So this is everything that I got in the mail today. <laughs> very, very happy mail. I just looked in the mirror. I would like to thank you for not making any comments about my hair. I'm pretty sure it's been hard to watch this hair. I personally am about to go into the kitchen and get a knife to cut it. That's how I feel about it. But, you know, I don't know how long this is going to go on. One of the things I wanted to do for 2020 was grow my hair out. But I thought I would have the option to cut it if I feel like I need to, but I don't. So I don't know how much longer I'm gonna look like this. So I just wanna thank you for not saying anything. I appreciate you. This truly means that we're friends, that you just let me go through this. Thank you. What a week. Look at Pooh. Pooh like, no weapon formed against me. <laughs> Pooh is like, I'm gonna let y'all deal with everything. I'm just gonna sit here in the, in the cut. <laughs> it is a little bit after 12 o'clock. I am done. I am done. Done for the work week. My director, I think she just got going around 10 o'clock and she's been popping out those emails. And I'm like, sis, I'm done for the week. I'm gonna have to hit all this up on Monday. She was like, no problem. Very good. <laughs> because I have put in a full work week and i'm so happy it's done and i've decided that i'm going to end the vlog here because i'm going to go live on youtube about 12 30 so if you guys have been joining me over there thank you so much i really appreciate it it's been so much fun hanging out with you guys and getting to know you but i want to chillax after i finish going live on youtube I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine and I'm going to just really enjoy the rest of my evening, my night, and I'm going to find a good movie to watch and I'm probably going to call Cousin Paula and talk smack to her for a little while and I just want to chill. I just want to chill for the rest of the evening. I um, have a weekend plan of filming content creating content for youtube and for my blog so i'm just gonna do that and yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this video was a roller coaster but what we have learned is that when we do the things that work we just feel better <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out and i'll see you in the next video bye beautiful